Have you ever imagined a world where we not only stop emitting carbon dioxide, but also remove it from the atmosphere? How about a massive machine that captures CO2 almost like trees, but much faster and more efficiently? And where in the world could such a futuristic concept be a reality? Welcome to Iceland, the land of fire, ice, and now carbon removal. Before we dive deep into this marvel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep updated with our explorative journey. Let's dive in. So the place that all this magic is happening is the orca plant located in faraway Iceland. This isn't just any plant. It's like the superhero of clean air. Orca uses a clever method with things called amine. Think of amines as super sticky sponges that can catch and trap carbon dioxide as it passes. But every superhero has a challenge. For Orca, the challenge is money. This super sponge technology is pretty expensive. Yet, the results are incredible. Picture this. Orca machines can remove 4,000 tons of carbon dioxide every year. That's as if we stopped over 800 cars from polluting our air for a whole year. Now, Think of Iceland as a land of wonders with hot springs, volcanoes, and northern lights. One of these natural wonders is the Hellas Hiti geothermal plant, which is like a big battery that uses heat from the earth to make energy. This energy is clean and green, meaning it doesn't hurt our planet. Right next to this natural battery is the Orca plant. Being neighbors, Orca can easily use all the good, clean energy from Hellas Hiti. This is a smart move because it means Orca doesn't need to use energy that might harm the environment. It's like drinking clean water from a mountain spring instead of dirty water from a puddle. This friendship between Arca and Helishidi is like a teamwork story. Now imagine taking the harmful CO2 from the air and putting it safely away. That's what Orsa does. But after catching this CO2, where does it put it? It gets help from a friend named Carbfix. They mix the CO2 with water and push it deep into the ground. Down there, the CO2 meets some special rocks called the Saltic Rocks. When they come together, something magical happens. The CO2 changes and becomes a solid, safe mineral. So, instead of being a problem in the air, it becomes a harmless rock underground. This smart way of storing CO2 is a helpful answer to our pollution worries. Orca has not only set benchmarks in carbon capture, but also ignited a global conversation about the potential of DAC technology. Capturing 4,000 tons of CO2 annually is no small feat and the plant's success is a beacon of hope, suggesting the scalability and adaptability of such technology in diverse environments across the globe. Doing new and exciting things is not always easy. And when it comes to the Orca project in Iceland, the biggest problem they faced was the super cold weather. Why? Because Iceland is near the Arctic, which means it gets really, really cold. Imagine you have a toy that stops working if it gets too cold. That's what happened with some of Orca's machines. The freezing weather sometimes makes them stop working, just like your toy might if left out in the snow. Because of this, there were times when work at Orca had to be paused. But the people at Orca are very determined. They didn't let the cold stop them. Instead, they learned from these problems and made their machines even better and stronger. They changed their plant's design to ensure it could handle the cold. So even when the temperatures dropped a lot, Orca could keep working without big troubles. So why did they choose Iceland for the Orca project? It wasn't just because Iceland is a beautiful place with pretty landscapes. There are some really good reasons. First, Iceland has something called geothermal energy. This means they can get heat and electricity straight from the ground because of the hot water and steam under the earth. A significant power plant called the Hellas Heidi Geothermal Power Plant helps with this. It gives Orca all the heat and electricity it needs. But that's not all. Iceland has special rocks because of its volcanoes. These rocks are perfect for the carb fix method, which is a clever way to store carbon deep in the ground. When Orca takes carbon from the air, they need a place to put it so it doesn't go back into the atmosphere. Thanks to Iceland's volcanic rocks, they can do this easily. Storing carbon underground can be done at massive scale, and it is really, really reliable to store that carbon uh, underground, two, three, four kilometers underground, where it can stay for millions of years and be safely and securely monitored so we know exactly where it is. So when you think about it, Iceland has everything Orca needs. The right kind of energy and the perfect rock. That's why Iceland was the best choice for Orca's big project. Orca is a beacon of human ingenuity in our quest against climate change. Combining advanced technology, renewable energy sources, and ingenious carbon storage methods provides a blueprint for a more sustainable and greener future. As nations rally to tackle global warming, 
Orca is an emblem of progress, innovation, and the promise of a better tomorrow.